What's up guys, Bear Bear's Music, and today I've got a very cool new package for us to unbox. Let's check it out. It's a big boy. So as you guys saw from the title of the video, it's an Epiphone. Now this is cool now. Come on now, you gotta give it to Epiphone. That is cool. They gave me a freaking Epiphone poster. That is sweet. No kidding, man. Oh, I'm putting this up in the studio. And look, on the back, it's got a whole bunch of uh, all their different types of Epiphone guitars. That is sweet. What a cool poster. What a cool poster. Gave me a little baggie with some stuff in it. All right, here she is. Wow. Nice. So it's an Epiphone Hummingbird Pro acoustic electric guitar. Oh, little bumper sticker. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what happened? There's literally something floating around in this guitar. What is that? What is that? Why is it floating around in there? There's literally something floating around in the inside of the guitar. I can't say I've ever seen this before. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, missed the battery. Well, usually the batteries are right here. <clears throat> Where does the battery go? I am super confused. So after some research and careful deliberation, I realized that this is supposed to be in this little battery pack and the Velcro is actually right here. So you have to kind of do surgery on this guy. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this on video or not, but uh, you basically put it back into here. I'm gonna have to do it to where I can lay it down. Yeah, like this. And of course, I guess most people take the strings off, but I'm way too lazy for that. I really don't wanna take the strings off. Well, I've never seen anything like that before. That's very weird. Well, you don't want to shake this thing around too much. Good Lord, the battery pack will fall out. <laughs> See, there's a little battery pack in there. Another thing I'm noticing is uh, it doesn't actually have the electronics on the outside. I thought it did. Another weird thing about this guitar is it, it has the two little wheels, the tone and the volume up inside the sound hole. This is what we got. She's pretty, man. Of course, it's got the classic Gibson Hummingbird little logo dude on the pit guard there. Really nice little inlays. And you know what's interesting about this headstock is in person, the headstock is like fat. It's like big, man. Bigger than, uh, bigger than most guitars. Here's the back. So as you guys probably know, Epiphones definitely don't have a reputation for staying in tune. You know, they're the budget Gibsons. Uh, nothing wrong with them. They just are what they are. And so I'm trying to get these strings used to the tuning, but uh, I put it in drop D first. And so this is what some drop D sounds like. I haven't played that in forever. It's such a badass riff.
Let's go to standard. You know, does it sound bad? And of course not. It sounds good. Does it sound like I thought it would? Yeah. It sounds like a upper mid-range guitar, you know? It's not a Martin or Taylor or Gibson, but it's what you it's what you get with a buffoon, you know? Something like that. I know I'm killing Hendrix. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Thank you. 
see what it sounds like plugged in. It's fun. It's a it's a great guitar, and uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's an Epiphone, you know. It's not a Taylor, Martin, or Gibson, but it does what Epiphone does well, which is upper mid range stuff. So uh, yeah, sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.